Okay, as you can see here, I've already got an irrigation system going in this garden. Now, I think it's incredibly important that you maximize the amount of time that you spend in the garden. And for me, I'm tired of spending 40 minutes a night watering everything. I, I could be doing so much other stuff with that 40 minutes as opposed to standing there with a the hose in my hand watering. So I went ahead and I've started expanding the existing irrigation system that I have here. That video is coming soon. All right, everyone, so as you just saw, about a month ago, three or four weeks ago, I mentioned doing a video on extending your drip system, or better yet, how to extend your drip system. Now, let's be completely honest. A drip system can be a little overwhelming. There's a lot to it, but at the same time, there's really not a lot to it if that makes any sense. It's more up here. If, if you let it overwhelm you, then you're gonna have trouble doing this, but it's not hard so at all. In this all. video, so, what I wanna do is go through and show you all how I extended my drip system. Now, it was a year ago that I extended the drip system to this bed right here. From this drip system over to this bed right here. I'm gonna put a link in right here on how I extended that system over to that bed. I'm also going to put the link in to the first irrigation video that I did where I set up the initial drip system throughout this backyard prior to all these other beds being here. Uh, I'll put that in right here. Now, having said all that, since June of last year, when I put when I... the irrigation drip system extension into this bed, I have 10 new beds out here, 10 new raised beds, which means I have 10 more beds that I have to water every day. So if you are tired, seriously, of spending all that time watering, now I'm gonna be completely honest, watering is therapeutic for me. I just focus on my plants, I'm seeing my plants, I can put hands on my plants if I see a pest or a, or a new plant growing, new fruit growing. So it's good in that sense because you're getting dirt in your nails, you know what I mean? You're getting into the garden. But it's not good when you realize you just spent 40, 50, an hour worth of time just watering. Now, again, watering's therapeutic for me, but enough is enough, right? You've got other stuff you could be doing. You'd be planting new crops, you could be weeding out your beds, you could be t cutting off you know, yellowing leaves off your tomato plants or, you know, whatever. So a drip system is great. For one, you're watering your plants. Two, it's a drip system. So you're not splashing water up on your plants, which can introduce mildew, powdery mildew or diseases like that to your plant. One thing about a drip system that I didn't really understand until I started doing this is when you're, when that water is dripping, you're gonna think it's going straight down and you've got just this little like straw shaped wet area in your soil. It's not true. It comes out like this from your drip system. It'll funnel out into your beds. So plants that aren't right next to the drip system, their roots are finding that water. You're still watering everything. It just looks on the surface that you have this little dime sized water hole at the top, but in the bottom, it's gone out into a cone. So drip systems are great, 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 but we got to get them. We got to make them right. We got to figure it out what we need. So let's walk through this. I'm going to show you all what I did to extend my current system and what I did to make a brand new system. Are y'all ready? <laughs> well, I've got birds going everywhere around. So if y'all are ready, Let's do this. Right off the bat, this is a new bed. This has been here for about a year actually. And I needed to find a way to get water to this bed. Now I did the exact same thing that I did for this bed. What I did was I spliced the existing hose, put a T connector, a little tiny piece right there, an elbow down into the ground, I made a line, dug it in, Popped it back up on this side. So there's an elbow. There's an elbow like this inside here. 
and down there at the bottom of that. Then there's a hose that comes under right through this line right here, up to here, this elbow, over to this T connector. And then as you can see, I just ran this hose around the perimeter of this bed, all the way around. So I have an elbow at each of the corners and I have the hose that runs down the length of the bed. It's not hard at all. Now, let me back up real quick. First thing you wanna do once you realize what all you need is you wanna set that hose out, this black hose that I just showed you, out in the sun for a couple few hours. Let the sunlight warm that hose up and that'll get that curve that it's wrapped in out of it. And it'll make it more pliable for you. That's a tip right there. Trust me, it works. Once you have all the hose ran around your perimeter, well then what I'm doing is I'm using a true drip system. I'm not using sprinklers or anything like that, but I went and got this, this hose right here that have, that have these holes already in them. Now these holes are a foot apart. And if I had thought about this before I actually started planning, or better yet, I already had the drip system in place, these holes are a great marker for where to plant plants. Every 12 inches, put a plant underneath the drip hose, and then that plant will always have enough water. I mean, gardening, <laughs> gardening can be overwhelming, but sometimes it's kind of right, simple. So and it's you want to poke a hole in your hose, put this little adapter in, connect your hose to the adapter. Now this can be tricky. Sometimes you gotta warm these hoses up. So again, sitting in the sunlight um, will help get that hose on these connectors. And then I just ran the hose down the length and then I connected it on the other end the exact same way. And I've done that with three hoses on this bed. Again, I'm not using any sprinklers, only these drip hoses. And so far, this bed is coming along great since I put this system in on this bed. Now, this bed and the blueberry, blackberry bed are all good to go in regards to the hoses. So once that's in, once, you, once I finish this bed, this is where the, the, the real thinking came in. I now have to come up with a way to get water to that bed that bed and all of these beds all right so what did i do well first thing i bought one of these and i decided to run a hose around the corner this way now for those of you that are wondering what i'm doing here this is a hose extension that goes to my initial to my initial drip system so what i wanted to do is kind of do the exact same thing on this side except i don't have a fence to screw into i have a wall so I went and got these little clamps, drilled holes into the concrete, into the brick here, and then connected the hose the whole way down. The length of the house. Now this one doesn't work. This one did not work for me. I had to go get a new um, filter system here. I believe is a 20 PSI um, system. These little connectors right here, this is a backflow connector, so water can't go back this way. I have no clue what this is, but you need it. And then an adapter for the hose. So you just push the hose into this side and it locks it in nice and tight. So you need a filter, a backflow thing. I don't know what it's called, sorry. Whatever this is, so I'm zooming in on it and then a hose connector and that's what you need now i know i'm not being super descriptive here but i'm definitely showing exactly what you need you can get all of these at home depot lowe's just go to the plumbing section and find the area where they where they uh, sell all the irrigation stuff they're there all right then i connected the hose brought it to another elbow took it down the length of these flower beds here all the way down here. And then I crimped it with this eight hook, this, this figure eight 
thing right here. It crimps the wa the hose right there and no water can get out. Then I punched a hole, put another one of these connectors in, ran this drip system all the way down the length of the bed. And that was it for that bed. Now I had to get a, come up with a way to get water to these other two beds. And this is what I did for that. Spliced a, a T connector in, ran the hose down to an elbow, underneath the flower box and then I dug it in right here there's an elbow down here at the bottom brought it up to another elbow to another elbow and then connected it to the hose that I laid around the inside of each of these two beds and then again just ran a drip hose down the middle um, of this bed so now I'm just gonna fill this in Kind of put the parts back together, maybe fill it in with some soil right in the center. But this is done. We're good to go. Now, that was all I did to connect the system to these beds right here. It's, again, this might look complicated and overwhelming and holy crap, that's a lot of stuff to do. It's really not, trust me. Um, now, full disclosure, it took me a few days to get all this done because of the heat. I would do it in, in sections. But labor wise, it's not hard. The biggest thing for me is I have to lay out a diagram. Think of how many elbows and T-joints and connectors and all that that I need, all the tubing and stuff that I need, and then go buy it. But that's really not the hard part. Now, to finish this video out, I have these other beds right here that I'm sitting on, the sweet potato beds. And I had to create a system for this bed, for these beds. This is what I did for them. Okay, so as you can see right here, this was the existing line. Now what I did is I got some different tubing that don't have holes in it. This is just a, a, a tubing. Brought it down and then I connected it right there. I connected it right there. And the brown tubing here is the drip system. So just connected it in and then I ran the drip system all through this bed, just in a big circle, just in a big circle. And it goes all the way over here. And as you can see, it goes around. I've got some poles sitting here just so I know where they are. Excuse the mess, but gardening's not always pretty and perfect. And then it continues on over to this bed. And then I end it somewhere in here. Oh, and I end it with a stopper right there okay everyone so that's all you need now let's go through a list of things I've already shown you how to do everything but let's go through a list of what you're gonna need you're gonna need a tool if you do it the way that I've just shown you you're gonna need a tool to dig into the ground now I use that half moon shovel thing um, I've been using that for a couple years I don't know the name of it but that thing is a rock star I have definitely got my money's worth out of that thing so far so you're gonna need something to create a hole in the ground or a trench in the ground. You're gonna need the tubing. Um, you're gonna need the drip system, the, the tubing of the drip system, and then you're gonna need this tubing also right there. You're gonna need all those little connectors and a little hole punch to create the holes in the tubing. Now, these all come together in a kit, or you can piecemeal it out at Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, you know, those kind of places. Your local hardware store will have all the irrigation stuff that you need. Um, what else do you need? You need the uh, you need the watering system that I showed earlier, the filter, the back water flow, little adapter thing, and all that. You, you got to have that. And then and then you just need time, desire to get it done, and then you know you just got to knock it out. So. Again, like I said at the beginning of this video, a drip system can be overwhelming. It can be stressful if you really allow it to be. But my encouragement is just don't let it overwhelm you. Just focus on what you need to do and do it. And once you put that first drip system in, you're gonna be like, man, this really is not that difficult. You know what I mean? Like, it's all up here, really. Hey everyone, so that's the video. This is my third video to, to do on a drip system or a backyard irrigation system. And 
I am constantly evolving my system. I'm getting away from the sprays or the sprinkler heads to strictly the drip tubing. I don't want sprinkler heads anymore. And in fact, I'm taking all the ones that I actually still have out here out today. And um, just strictly drip system. I don't want the spraying anymore. And that's the beauty of this system is you can keep adding to it. And say you mess up and you no longer need a sprinkler or a, a sprinkler or a, a hose in a certain area, you can yank those out, put the little stoppers in and keep rolling. It won't leak, it won't create issues with you watering. Um, the system is a really easy system to use. You just gotta go do it. All right, so before I end this video, I wanna thank everyone for watching the videos. I wanna thank all the new subscribers, the old subscribers, um, everyone who's found this channel and who's supporting me, I really do appreciate it. Hey, if you are not a subscriber, do me a favor, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like the channel or you like the content or you've seen some of my other videos, just hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so you're always notified when I upload videos. I also have Facebook and Instagram pages. Just type in Down Home Backyard Gardening to either of those websites and you'll find me. All right, everyone, so as I like to always say, shine bright and harvest hard.